Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Mega Desktop app. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. This case, you might be wondering how do you start using the Mega Desktop app here? Well, using it is fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and visit their official website, which in this case is going to be mega.io slash desktop. In this case, it will redirect you to the following uh, download page here, which allows you to download the desktop app for Mega. Now, in this case, let's go and click on Download Mega. And from here, let's go and choose our uh, OS. In this case, since I'm using Windows, I want to use Windows here. And in this case, since I'm using the 64-bit version, I want to use the 64-bit version. In this case, let's go and click on Download here. And from here, it should start the download process. So in this case, let's just wait for it to finish. And the download is now complete. Let's go and click on the top right here and let's go ahead and start running the Mega Desktop app here and click on Run. In this case, once it actually runs, just click on Yes if it requires further permission. And from here, we just need to basically select the language itself. Let's go and click on English, click on OK. And from here, we want to go ahead and just proceed with the, uh, the actual installation. Let's go and click on next here. Click on I agree. But if you want to read through this, you could go ahead. And from here, you want to go ahead and choose either you want to install this for every computer or just for you. You could just uh, basically answer either. So I'm just going to install this for me. Just click on install. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on install here to start the process and basically wait for it to complete. So download is complete. Let's go and click on finish here to run Mega. And it should pop up now. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, what we need to do here for us to start using Mega here, we first need to create our account. So in this case, it's going to click on sign up at the bottom left. And from here, just provide all the desired details. That includes your full name here, your email address, the password you want to use, and the confirmation of that password. And you need to agree to the terms of service for Mega. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, once you provide all the details, you just need to complete the sign up by providing or confirming your email. In this case, let's go ahead and do that. So, you will receive a, the following email here. So, let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, just click on activate account to activate our account. But once our account is activated, we should be able to start using the actual platform. But in this case, since we want to log in via the app itself, let's go, let's go ahead and minimize this one. And from here, just provide your password. Now, we need to provide some information here. So for example, you could add the custom device name here. So in this case, maybe I wanna use a different name here. So let's just add our computer name here and from here, click on next. Now from here, we need to set up our account. In this case, you could either choose a backup or if you want to sync your data, you could use sync. Now, if you want to have a, on this case, a consistent backup, you could use Mega here. But if you just want to sync your data, you can again use Mega. So choose either one here. In my case, I want to use sync here. And from here, let's go and click on next. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose what type of sync here. So for example, maybe I just want to uh, do a selective sync here. Let's go and click on next. And from here, what we need to do is we need to review a few things. Now, where our folder is going to be and what is the mega folder is going to be. So if you want to visit your uh, mega folder, this is where it's going to be. And if you want to visit your online folder, this is what's going to be. In this case, let's go ahead and just use this one and also review your available storage. So mine right now is around 25 gigabyte for my mega account. Let's go and click on sync. Since we are good with the location, but if you want to change that, you can go ahead. Now, for now, let's go ahead and click on done. And we should now be able to start using Mega. So, the first thing that you notice here is that Mega is no longer on your screen. Well, the thing here, it's actually minimized. So, at the bottom right of your screen, if you click on the hidden icons or show hidden icons option here, you should be able to see an M that has a circle on it that has a red background. So, you just need to click on it. This is Mega. And you should be able to see different general information about your account. Like for example, what is the transfers right now and notifications that you might have received. Now, in this case, you could also upgrade your account if you want to increase your storage and you could also add a backup, add a sync if you want and use or upload a file. 
Now, if you click on the three dotted icon here, you have the about page, you have your cloud drive. If you want to uh, see it, it should open up as you can see right now. It's going to start opening up and it should show you the folders or the files inside your mega drive. Now, in this case, like what I said before, since we are syncing our data from a specific folder into our desktop, we also have the mega folder here. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm going to actually upload a file here. Let's go ahead and upload one file here. So maybe I want to upload one. Let's go into, go to downloads here. So maybe I want to upload a very specific one. Like maybe I want to add a uh, image here. So let's go ahead and choose one image. So maybe I want to use this one. So for example, let's go ahead and choose this one. Let's go ahead and upload it into our folder here. Click on upload to confirm and it should start to download. Now the bottom left, it should show you the current progress. And as you can see, it is now uploaded. Now, like what we discussed before is when we actually upload something here, it will automatically sync into our local folder. In this case, you want to go ahead and exit this one. You want to go to one of your folders here. And from here, let's go to our documents in here at the left side, since this is where our default mega folder is. And as you can see, we could see the mega folder. Now, the mega folder has a check on it. It means that it's currently synced with our data online. So whenever you visit it, as you can see, it should show you a few files here. But whenever we expand this one, we have the file itself that we just recently uploaded. Now, in this case, it has a check on it. It means it's synced. So if you delete one of the files here, so I want to delete this one, it that would actually also sync that into our online account. As you can see, it's gone whenever we do changes. Now, basically, if you choose sync here, it will sync whatever file that you have here. So if you delete something, you also delete it online. If you add something, it's also going to be added online or locally or vice versa. So basically, it's a great way to, for you to keep track of your files and basically have an alternative uh, besides uh, Google Drive or OneDrive if you're using those uh, um, other platforms or tools online. Now also in the mega app here or in the actual website, you have the option to actually view your rubbish bin here, your favorites, your recents, some folders and links, fire requests and cloud drives if you want to view them. But yeah, so those are the basics to get you started in using the mega desktop app here and the general use for the actual app. So just basically it's either async or a backup. So you could either choose one of them. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.